<laughs> yeah boy so today we are reviewing the rescue tool it's more of a tool than a knife in this case and i am putting out this review after 3 to 4 months of use and we'll check out all the features what makes it different from the traditional swiss knife and what makes it better than a traditional swiss knife because this rescue tool gives off more of a uh, an urban vibe it's more accustomed to be used in a, in a car accident like situation as you can see even the shape is different from a regular swiss knife it has a groove it has better grip it has this new nylon cord which you couldn't see in the previous models and there are overall there are a few functional uh, changes also which make it different from a regular swiss knife especially the size and weight so let's see also better spring action it has shifted from the traditional red body to the neon color it's due to a particular reason yes exactly so that it can be visible in the dark plus it also looks cool it's an, it, it's giving off new vibes like a sort of some cyberpunk knife it looks cool it's it's a refreshing design the degree of phosphorescence is also very high in this which is more as compared to other phosphorescent paints so that's good so let's move on to the main feature of the knife that is the blade what makes this blade different is that it features one hand opening so it's it can be used faster and you won't depend on both your hands to open this thing as you can see the blade is really sharp it has got serrations and the overall change in shape of the blade is different it's due to the finger hole which is large as you, uh, so that you can open it with gloves also the main blade has a very sharp edge and the new feature is the lock as you can see it's not closing it's due to the hinge lock which is a new feature and it's a really useful feature uh, it's not there in other traditional swiss knives so you have to push this button as you can see not a button exactly this a sort of plate and then it locks into place so that's how it works the serrations make the knife uh, very sharp that is its cutting ability also improves a lot moving on to the screw driver flat head screw driver so it's the same as other swiss knife screw drivers the difference being this also has its own lock so it cannot be snapped close and the standard wire stripper can open it Moving on to the next tool the seat belt cutter. So this is a curved blade which is which has many serrations not really sharp like semi serrations which are good for cutting cloth and as the name suggests seat belts. So it's also used for cutting hide thick hide and cut through leather also. Here I I've got a sample cloth which I'll use this. I use the seat belt cutter to show how nicely it cuts through fabric so there are the two ridges just uh yeah and if you pull this and with one swift blow the fabric is divided into two clean cuts it's not messy so works well even at the thicker ends it will be easily be it'll easily be able to cut off the fabric okay. stop it get some help Okay, I got it stuck between the ridge. Yeah, so make sure you don't get it stuck between those two ridges. They are to, they are they are to ensure that, you know, the plot doesn't slip out of the blade. And this notch here is just to pull the blade out. So keep that in mind. So that was the seat belt cutter. And yeah, as I as I told you, it's useful in car accidents where you just need to get off the car and you have a seat belt strapped to you. moving on so we get to the industrial strength glass cutter it's one of the two replaceable tools in this knife the second being the glass breaker 
so this the serrations of this blade are different from the seat belt cutter as you can see seat belt cutter have a sharper and smaller serration and this has a hard and very solid serrations with definite edges so you know they are used for cutting of glass and i'll show you how to do that here okay, okay just kidding i can't i can't demonstrate this tool and i hope i don't get the situation where i have to demonstrate this tool but it it surely works uh, i'll put the link of the victorinox tutorial in the description below overall this this blade is a replacement blade however do not use it to cut wood it's not the same as a saw in other swiss knives see again reinforcing the fact that it's more of a urban tool to keep in your car rather than a wilderness tool so moving on to the next tool of this knife the glass breaker so let me get a focus on this this tip is shaped in such a way that it's the sharpest shape possible to break a glass with blunt force because if you make it thinner than this it will break on the impact with the glass pane so this is the sharpest tip you can make to break a glass pane and this is replaceable so you can't use it for more than 3 4 times or one time i guess so moving on to the next part it's the philips screwdriver and it's the st same standard philips uh, screwdriver dimensions that you get in all other swiss knives this one is however put in the middle like many other models as it provides a good torque easy to rotate in clockwise and anti clockwise direction however it's not long enough or as useful as a screwdriver in all situations uh, it can't get through deep places or it can't uh, be used at all angles so that's that's fine you have to like make use of it whatever is given in this is nice the next tool we have is the reamer the disappointment in this reamer is that it does not have a hole like other old models so you can't stitch using this however it's really good for puncturing holes as you can see in this cloth again i'm using this cloth and i have just pierced it very easily the shape if you if you notice the shape it's spindle shaped it's built to pierce through objects so that what makes it a good sewing tool you can sew leather with it but not in this model you can't sew with this model but it's good for making holes and belts it's good for piercing objects you know i personally think it's also good as a weapon like it's a concealed uh, small blade like a mini wolverine claw so this was the reamer moving on hmm, i like the details of the texture it's phosphorescent paint it's not wear out easily too that's a good thing now we move on to this ridge the keyring it's it's not a function but they do they the make victorinox people still consider it to be one of the functions and you can't argue with them too this is the new nylon cord if you look at this stub this end it it it's actually a gelatinous it's it's a gel it's transparent it's plastic however if you see from a different angle it looks translu it looks opaque this is the nylon cord they're talking about i think it's it's like re any regular cord it's nothing special it's not as tough as military grade para cord so it's definitely not a replacement some people prefer to take the nylon cord off i just let it hang around so here's the blade again this satisfying click the moment you stop hearing the click you know something's wrong with the knife this is the click this click is the trademark of the swiss knife that's what uh, lets you know that this is a victorinox swiss knife to test the sharpness of the blade let's try to cut this wire it's a thick wire pretty thick wire you can't cut it with a normal kitchen knife or you need pliers basically for this and i don't think anyone will have pliers on them all the time so the knife can be a good substitute so just to check the look at the cutting mechanism the initial cut is made by the plain part and the serrations do the job of tearing the thing out so here you go a clean cut it's not a very messy cut you expect the serrations to do a messy job but in this case the blade doesn't disappoint sharp make sure to clean the blade after use every time to prevent rust or 
you know degradation of the blade although it's most likely that will not happen coming to the regular victorinox tweezers pretty handy make sure you sanitize them after every use and the most redundant tool the toothpick i mean no one would use a toothpick again and again and i use it to clean the edges of the knife the joints of the knife these joints as you can see those are the pivotal parts of the knife so now let's move on to the accessory that it comes with it's the sheath and the sheath is of surprisingly good quality it's made of jute and the red jute with along with the emblem is it's of superior quality and inside it's lined with leather as you can see the velcro is also of really good quality sheath is a really good addition and they've made the, the all, all all of it really bright the neon red aesthetic you know so that's easily visible on a fireman's belt as endorsed in the commercials it's you supposed to be used by rescue teams or people working in the fire department so the knife fits perfectly and you can put the sheath between your belt so that you can take it out in time or just keep it in a pocket but the em ruby red sheath looks good so this was all about the knife you make sure you clean the knife taking care of the knife is also important and if you take proper care of it like oil the joints regularly clean the blade with a soft microfiber cloth and clean the joints in a detergent solution and move the jo uh, joints of the swiss knife so to you know remove the gunk the debris the knife will help you a lot you could also use wd40 to remove rust however uh, the company doesn't recommend that that was all this is the victorinox rescue tool